What's up, we're 5 Seconds of Summer, this is our exclusive, most requested live Ask Anything chat with our pal Romeo, and uh, our new song is called Girls Talk Boys, and it's on the soundtrack of Ghostbusters, and we're gonna start answering some questions. Yeah, here we go now. Production line. Alright, so uh, I hope you've uh, got a big, big chunk of time today, because <laughs> we're gonna be here for a while, we have half a booklet of questions here, and uh, we're gonna start out with... Ellen from London. If you could swap songs and music with any other band for a day, what band would it be? Uh, let's go for Green Day. Yeah. yeah. Go Green Day for a day. They have great songs. Sound good live. Green Day for um, a day. Green yeah. Day for a day. All right. Yeah. All right. Thank Who, you, Alan. Who are you going? Uh, Shauna from Denver. Hi, Shauna. It's been a while. How did you guys find out you would do, you would do a song? How did you guys find out you were doing a song for Ghostbusters? Um, a little typo there. <laughs> um, how did we find out? We found out uh, via, by, email? via email. Via email, yeah. If you want to get to the business side of things. <laughs> and, uh, we were uh, told, we were approached and, and basically they said, uh, we'd love you guys on the soundtrack for Ghostbusters. We'd said, uh, <laughs> we, <laughs> I was going to say something sarcastic, but I'll let that slide. We said, uh, yeah, that'd be awesome. Um, Ricky Reed had uh, the song already, and we went in, we recorded it, and that's how Girls Talk Boys was birthed. All right, this is Jaden from Mississippi. Can I leave Luke's navy and red stripe shirt because, can I, I think it says, okay, yeah, can I have Luke's navy and red stripe shirt because I love it and I can't find it anyway. Thanks, babe, love you all. Okay, um, well, that's actually his shirt. What shirt and, is uh, it? Uh, navy uh, it's and the navy and red striped one. What's that one? Oh, right. Um, oh, it's over there, actually. Honestly, we don't have that many clothes, so the answer is probably no. Um, even though it's Luke's shirt, I'm just going to help <laughs> a brother out, and uh, we don't actually own many clothes, so... Yeah. Uh, we have a big tour to do, and it turns out you can't go on stage naked, so... There is right, that man. answer. Kaylee from Charlotte says, Thank you guys for telling me to... F Thank you... <clears throat> Kaylee from Charlotte says, Thank you guys for telling me to follow my dreams at Soundcheck, by the way. I cried a lot. I hope that's not bad. My question is, what is the hardest thing you've had to go through during tour or even just being in the band? That's a pretty dark question. Um, What's the hardest thing? It's the hardest thing we've had to go through during tour I mean, or even just being in the band. I feel like some, I mean, it's because you have the best job in the world, obviously. Uh, obviously. We have a really awesome job and we get to play music and do what we love, but... You know, yeah, with with this kind of uh, with this kind of work, with the ultimate, like with the really big highs, it's always going to be like really, you know, the similar size lows. So I don't know. Yeah, I agree. Up? Yeah, I mean, just kind of take the good with the bad. Yeah. All right, Amy from Colonial Beach. What is what is a name that someone calls you that you don't like? Um, Ashley got called mushroom yesterday. Didn't like that very much. Yeah. Yeah, mushroom is a fungus. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> you know, mushrooms you know, are the fungus. We uh, get called noodles as well. Don't really like that. Get called, uh, yeah, you know. Yeah, let's say that. Noodle and mushroom, not that bad, to be honest. Alright. Uh, Ali from Coral Springs. Ali from Coral Springs. Calling <laughs> Ali from Coral Springs. Anybody? Yeah, Ali from Coral Springs Clean says... Clean up on aisle three. <laughs> <laughs> Clean up on aisle three, Ali from Coral Springs. If you had to marry one of your band members, who would you marry? Why? I'd marry Luke. <laughs> Why? Why? Okay. Why uh, Ali from uh, Coral Springs? What kind of <laughs> question is that? <laughs> Ali from Coral Springs, if you had to marry one of your band members... Who would you marry? Wouldn't marry any of my band members. We'd pull Jessica out. If you Alba. had to, well, I don't have to. Ali from Coral Springs <laughs> says, "If you had to, I'm what, sick of what, no. I don't <laughs> have to. What if we don't? What there if is we, no. What if we refuse? There is no if. You get eaten alive <laughs> by sharks. This is my life, <laughs> and I You're don't want to marry me. any of you. <laughs> You're marrying me, whether you like it or not. All right. All right, Tyler from Auburn. How do you decide who sings what parts in each song? Next stop, Auburn. <laughs> um, okay, um, we uh, we work out who sounds best oh, in yeah. each part. Mm. In the simplest form. No, Sydney. Megan from San Antonio says, "What was your favorite part of filming the Girls Talk Boys music video?" Ah, uh, the part where mm. Michael dressed up as the Michelin Man <laughs> and this Michelin really... Man. Yeah, the marshmallow puff. The marshmallow puff dude. Yeah, yeah. it's the Michelin Man, right? <laughs> Is it? 
Yes. Huh? Marshmallow. Yeah. It's the marshmallow man. The Michelin man is the Thai company, though. That's I thought name. it was the Michelin man. That's, no. that's the Thai that's the that's guy. <laughs> I mean, the same. <laughs> se- but it's the same guy. It still I looks love the same. Both <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I liked that part. I, get, I got to destroy a little fake city. That was fun. I just belly flopped on some stuff. Cool. Michael does that a lot. Um, Kylie from Lensing. If we busted out a karaoke machine on the bus, what songs would you pick? Oh, on the bus specifically. On the bus. So on the bus is on the bus. Uh, life is a highway. Oh yeah. Um, oh, is that like a metaphor for your life? Drive by Incubus. Um, halfway there. Uh, most of most of the on... album "Slippery When Wet." <laughs> yeah, so you do. You get you get love a bad name by uh, Bon Jovi. Uh, and uh, stressed out. By Tony by uh, pillows. The next question is from. <laughs> <laughs> is it me? Uh, yeah. yeah, why not? Next one's from Angelica from Katie. That's very literal. Like Katie's probably her mom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Angelica. Oh, who has the worst Angel- sense of humor in the band? Was obviously An- I just displayed that. So. It says Angelica from Katie. Who has the worst sense of humor in the band? Ashton. Me. I think <laughs> Ashton has his, his dad joke moments. Sometimes. I love it though. I laugh a lot though. Ashton's got a few dad jokes, but what's wrong with a good dad joke? Boy, do they hit hard. <laughs> they hit hard. And Tom, well, you don't say too many, so, you know. They come in at the right time. Yeah. Alright, this is from Daryl Clifford from Sydney. <laughs> 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 Alright, this is Darby from Sherman. <laughs> <laughs> Darby from Charlotte. It's from your mum. <laughs> when you eat a taco, I mean, come on, Darby, I've already read the first half of it. <laughs> when you eat a taco, do you tilt your head or tilt the taco? Uh, well, I, I do both. I kind of, I move them both in opposite ways. I mean, there's not a great deal of depth we could go into. <laughs> I tilt my Darby. head. I tilt my head. Uh, yeah, I tilt, I tilt my head, head as well. Tilt. Um, and I hope, uh, I hope that is, uh, sets you on your path to enlightenment. Yeah. Enjoy. All right. Angel from Buffalo says, if you all could pick your own gangster rap names, what would you call yourselves? Mm. See, in gangster rap, do people name you or do you name yourself? See, I'm not quite sure how that works. You name yourself. Do you? I don't know. I think you name yourself. All right. That's cool. Do you have to earn your name though? I feel like you would have to maybe. I joined the ice the ice crew. It was like ice bucket. You joined the ice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, ice cube, ice, ice tea, ice bucket, <laughs> ice block. Ice block is good. Ice block's good. I'd be snowflake. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go with a the winter theme here. Yeah. I'd be snowball. <laughs> snowball and snowflake on the mics. <laughs> and then what are you? Um, you can be like. You can be like. Blizzard. Popsicle. Blizzard. <coughs> Popsicle. I'll be Popsicle. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's a good, good question. All right, oh, no, we got any more. Ah. Some questions. All right, next All right, one. Let's go, let's go. Angel from Buffalo. Nice name. If you could... Oh, gosh. Angel from Buffalo. If you could all pick your own... Oh, just read that one. Daniel from Marlott. Daniel from Marlet, is there going to be more songs to come out anytime soon? I love you. Yes. Yeah, well, we just released one. Really? Do uh, you mean After Girls Talk Boys? I don't know when you wrote this. I think Can you, you might just... mean that. All right, we have Girls Talk Boys, but uh, there will be more. Always will be more. Yeah. yeah. They're coming. They're coming. Yeah. Who's next? You, Cal? Yeah, I'm next. Lauren from Baltimore. What kind of toothpaste do you use? Uh, whitening, Colgate whitening. Colgate whitening, usually. I, more of a I use it uh, Aquafresh. Nice. You do? I use whatever's around. Yeah, whatever's laying around the dressing room, to be honest. I don't brush my teeth. I use Sensodyne <laughs> toothpaste. Sponsored, <laughs> sponsored by Sensodyne. All right, this is Jody from Give Me Money. This is Jody from West Palm. Did you guys get to go to the Ghostbusters premiere and walk the red carpet? The answer is no. We, we were, were on tour. We were playing a show, so we couldn't well, go. We were there yeah. vicariously. Crizzle from Orlando says, did Michael volunteer to wear the Stay Puft costume on the Girls Talk Boys music video? And the answer is, I did not volunteer. Everyone else just didn't want to do it, so I did it. <laughs> this is our life. Um, yep. Sean from Mobile, what's the best app on your phone right now? 
And then you want the real answer. The one that's the one that's uh that's most useful is definitely Google Maps, but the one that's <laughs> gonna get the best crowd reaction at home is Pokemon Go. So everyone's cheering at home on the Everyone is everyone's cheering. Woo! Every single person just party. Um I like Pokemon Go as well. It's fun. Google Drive. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is Google, Google Drive? Google Drive is good. So I'm gonna share photos with my friends. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> uh, Erica from Miami. Yeah, Miami. baby. Oh, it's nice. Do you make sure you take all the free good stuff from your dressing rooms after your show is done? Food, towels, presents, soap. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I make sure to take the soap. <laughs> we have 600 bars of soap on our bus. <laughs> Um, I have a um, suitcase just full Not of really, soap. honestly. Uh, usually, yeah. But usually it stays in the venue. Yeah. Uh, the catering people either take the food or the, all the M M M and N I I don't really know what happens to the towels. I don't know what happens with the towels, honestly. I mean, the towels uh, get the towels usually get. It's a good question, though, Erica. What does happen to the things in the dressing yeah, room? Yeah, so you're, you're looking at the big we, picture right now. We don't know. What we does are, happen? We are sure. It's Kesha from Ottawa says, Any other movies approach you to sing a song in their soundtracks? And uh, the answer is... No? Oh, yes. One. Yes, one. One, one other did. It what? was uh, Top, Top Gun. Top <laughs> Gun. <laughs> and the... And the <laughs> Uh, yeah. yeah. Next one. Alright. Um... This is going Wichita. <laughs> this is the best. Hannah from... <laughs> Hannah from Wichita. How long into a tour before you start forgetting where you are? How do you remember what city you're in? Day two. Uh, early on. I mean... Yeah, it starts pretty quick. The rooms look pretty similar to this every day. When you wake up in a bus and then walk out into a similar room every day. You definitely forget where you are sometimes. Mm -hmm. But then, you gotta go outside. And then... You know, figure you gotta, out where you are. You just gotta. So if you stay inside all the time, then you start to go a bit insane. So you gotta go outside and find out where you are. Yeah. <laughs> I miss Sean. <laughs> Brianna from Milford. This is the second last question. What do you like to do on your days off? I'll question. tell you what I usually do. Brianna from Milford. Uh, I, I sleep, I wake up, and then I shower... I go outside, I get some food, usually with Ashton. Uh, we walk around mainly. Uh, we might do something uh, fun, such as an activity. <laughs> or go uh, to the mall. Or go to the mall, or a park, or the movies. Uh, I will come back, I will sleep, and then... This is nice. <laughs> you basically got the whole rundown. That's <laughs> actually what happens on your day off. <laughs> That is pretty accurate, actually. That's All right, accurate. I think it's the last question. Last question, Anna. Uh, Anna from Boston. Oh, it starts out as, it's not really a question. It's a question thing. It's a question segment. What does it say? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. All right, Anna from Boston. It's not really a question, LOL, but today my, today my birthday. So I wanted to know if you could just say happy birthday. Love you guys. Kiss, kiss. Happy birthday, Anna from Boston. Happy birthday, Anna. Um, thank you, Romeo, for doing the chat. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and we'll see you later. Yeah, thanks and for the song. Bye, and shout out to Sean from 